When NASCAR founder Bill France designed the world-famous Daytona International Speedway, he also built an infield road course to host sports car races. And for 50 years, the Rolex 24 at Daytona has been the ultimate test of sports car racing. France's legacy lives on at Daytona and with Grand Am Road Racing, a company of NASCAR. But the truth is that road racing doesn't stop at America's shores. It's also the most popular form of racing worldwide, with international superstars helping to generate rabid fan interest and sponsor brand awareness from Australia to Zambia and everywhere in between. The racing revolution that is Grand Am Road Racing is wheel-to-wheel -wheel competition in its purest form, consisting of two exciting series, the Rolex Sports Car Series and the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge. The Rolex Sports Car Series features the purpose-built Daytona prototype class, running engines from top American and international manufacturers that approach speeds of 200 miles per hour. The production-based GT class, also purpose-built for racing, consists of Ferraris, Porsches, BMWs, and Corvettes. Both classes race together in the premier Rolex series. DPs race for overall and class wins, while GTs battle for class honors. The Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge showcases two classes of cars straight from the showroom floor with minor modifications. The GS class consists of American muscle cars like Mustangs and Camaros, racing against international sports car manufacturers like BMW, Nissan, and Porsche. The ST class includes smaller four- and six-cylinder powered machines such as Hondas, Kias, Volkswagens, and Mazdas. These two classes race side-by-side -side in the Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge with fields of over 50 cars. Grand Am Road Racing is where driver's skill is as important as car setup, where each turn of the road can be the difference between first and last place. Grand Am is all about the fans. Their knowledge, passion, and intensity are second to none. The Grand Am fan is younger and more affluent than the average sports fan dominated by males between the ages of 18 and 34. Best of all, these fans believe in supporting their sport in every way. Event attendance and television ratings continue to grow with Grand Am telecasts available to 17 broadcast partners in nearly 200 countries, reaching over 335 million homes worldwide. Fans can watch all the action in North America and Latin America via Grand Am's television partner, Speed. The Rolex Sports Car Series races are also shown on ESPN's international networks around the globe. Fans can also listen to every race on Sirius XM, produced by the Motor Racing Network, the voice of NASCAR and Grand Am. But it's more than just TV. Grand Am fans can also access info through GrandAm.com, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Fans follow Grand Am Road Racing across the United States at some of the most historic and prestigious venues, including the inaugural race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the summer of 2012. Grand Am is built upon the foundation of at-track activation and VIP access. And it's through Grand Am that companies reach new and existing customers. Well compared to Formula One. Grand Am Road Racing. NASCAR's newest sports property.